Okay, I just tossed up all of her old food because I usually do that except for the treat bowl. Um, I usually, uh, this treat stuff I toss out about once every, I think, month or two. Depends on what's in it. Some things I keep, like, some things are really crispy. And sometimes, um, you know, but uh, these things I generally, you know, the stuff I usually toss out. The stuff that's not big. So, like, this stuff is expensive and big. So, so long as she starts nibbling on it, whatever. But uh, for now, because she's only been here two weeks, so definitely keeping that. I wanted to know just how much food was in this bowl. Because um, I want to track how much she's eating. I still have no idea how much she needs to eat. But um, I'm just going to... Basically, I put one tiny handful of uh, all of every single thing in her diet. She has four separate foods in her diet. Uh, four separate kind of like uh, bags of food. They're all different and they're all for different reasons. And I was trying some on her and some were because she's underweight and um, others because it might appeal to her and some because it's absolutely good for her. So she's actually got quite a few. Um, so basically all four handfuls, tiny handfuls, handfuls are like what fits inside here. So not very much. Uh, so four of these handfuls equals this. And so this is actually, I love these things. Uh, this is a one quarter. And I love it because it collapses. I bought these. They were so expensive. It's like $17 for these measures. Uh, but uh, they really are good space savers. Um, so basically, apparently, um, one quarter cup will just barely cover the bottom of the dish but because she now has this and she can climb in here she does not need it to be filled to the brim that's the only reason i gave her so much food because i definitely knew that guinea pigs could not eat that much food and that it was wasting it but uh, i really wanted her to be able to eat and she was looking like she had difficulty eating so that's the only reason i gave her so much food but um i feed her i'm home all the time and tomorrow i'm definitely home most of the day so there is no reason to overfeed her um, so I really want to see how long this will take to eat. And um, she does like all the stuff because I have tracked her on that. She does like all the stuff. Um, there's only one thing that seems to be missing and I'm not sure why. Oh, those are uh, veggie things. But um, I ran out. So uh, the dried veggies. But she didn't really like them anyway. I think I did mix some of it in her diet. Maybe not. I did mix it into the hamster's diet. Um. But I ran out because one bag, uh, thoroughly, um, just so you can see, one bag of, uh, and I, I actually put this here, and I'll show you what that is, actually. That's my bedding, actually, the custom-made bedding that I make uh, in my video. Uh, I finally, because I bought Carefresh this week, um, right here, it's like a tiny bit left, uh, two, one-third of a bag. Uh, I was able to wash every last piece of bedding that I own. So this is a Toys R Us bag, the largest one you can get. And this is all the bedding. And if I put this stuff in here, it would go just above here. That's how much bedding. So we're talking the entire Toys R Us bedding. And so that's a lot of bedding. And I can tell you that only lasts us three weeks. Two weeks, um, which go into the wash. And then one week while they're in use while it's in the wash. So it only lasts us two changings plus one. So if I was to do the laundry once a month, which it would all fit in the laundry because it's really actually fluffy because it's um, only because it's wrinkled. Okay, but um, when it's actually new, as you can see, it's just flat. It's very thin. It's very, very absorbent. It's better than Carefresh. It's more absorbent than Carefresh. I can guarantee you on that. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to show you what's in here, actually. This is the hamster's food. And the reason why it's so big is because i got so many hamsters. So um, um, before you guys just go wow, um, just note that this is not one kind of food. This is uh, Vitacraft and Living World plus um, the dried veggies. And um, this is the dried veggie stuff. Um, this is the dried veggie stuff. Uh, I don't know if they eat it, but if you smell it, it smells fantastic. Like, if you ever go and buy it, uh, it's by All Living Things. Uh, it's called veg a Dried Veggie Medley or something. Uh, if you went and got it, you would just, if you just bought it at PetSmart and you didn't want to, like, keep it, you could just buy it or open it and just smell. It smells fantastic. I don't know if the hamsters actually eat it. I know the guinea pig actually does eat it. 
but um, I bought two different kinds for a reason uh, because because a breeder told me to uh, but the Vitacraft is because it has no sunflower seeds the one that I buy has no sunflower seeds and there's a reason for that uh, because the living world one has in her opinion uh, and I agree, I wholeheartedly agree, which is why I'm following her directions to the letter, and I've seen the results. Um, the Living World one has uh, about, maybe if you take it, uh, the amount of sunflower seeds in one bag, it has about 30% too much, in her opinion, uh, of sunflower seeds. The ratio, I mean. Um, so it is actually more fattening. And so if you buy one that has none, and then you buy one that has a little too much, if you mix the two, you kind of even everything out. And that's what I've chosen to do. I've chosen to listen to 100%. And I can tell you that my uh, one of my hamsters was, like, deathly skinny. Like, he was just on de at death's door. He was, he was going to die very soon. Um, and I think it was because of bullying. Uh, which he has been separated, but uh, I fed him this diet, and I gotta tell you, he was a sk so skinny you could feel his spine, and when you stroked him on the face, uh, you could totally feel his cheek pouch snag on your finger when you stroke him on the side of the face. Um, but now, uh, it's been about a month and a half now, and uh, he is so firm and healthy, uh, he's... He's not the same hamster that he was. And frankly, he was even healthier afterwards than he was before he got, you know, skinny. And so I definitely will listen to that breeder. And it's just Vitacraft and uh, and Living World, which uh, actually I believe I still have the bags too, so I can show it to you. Um, so this is the one. Uh, it has to be this particular one. I don't know why. Because the other Vitacraft one has sunflower seeds in it. Uh, so only this one doesn't have it. Uh, but it does have something really weird in it. It has these little black pieces that look like wood. Um, so, yeah. And... And uh, this one. The Living World one. It's... 2.27 kg um she told me that the breeder told me that not the breeder i got the hamsters from but the breeder just told me the one that i contacted regarding online a uh, question of what was wrong with my hamster because i was teetering on a lot of things maybe it was the wrong diet maybe you know he was sick he, maybe it was diabetes i mean i had no idea what was wrong with my hamster and i was desperate and so uh I was on the verge of paying a vet online to answer my questions because I just wanted to know what was wrong with my baby. Um, so I followed it to the letter, and um, the veggie was the only thing I added because it just smelled so nice. Uh, I wanted to enhance the hamster's experience when they ate. So I know they don't eat it, so I'm wasting two ninety nine. I know that, but it smells nice, and it's got to be pleasant even if they don't want to eat it. I mean, you might not like to eat lasagna, but you might like the smell of lasagna. So uh, I did that, and they seem to like it, uh, but I've never seen them eat it. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, like the guinea pig has this food. I put one tiny handful of this one. This is the Living World Extrusion. This is Vitacraft, actually. I'm pretty certain, certain that. And then, of course, there's the Selective Diet. Uh, this is the vet-approved one. This is the most expensive one. And then, oh yeah, and then there's this one. I can't pronounce this at all, but uh, that's this one. And this is the high fat one. Uh, it's meant to help fatten her up because she's a little underweight. So between, and these ones actually, I didn't pay for this. Uh, I bought this, I, well, I did. And then uh, because PetSmart has this uh, policy where you can return food even if it's used, uh, I decided to return it because I was trying, to, trying out diets to figure out what was wrong with her. So I bought uh, quite a few varieties and basically I just kept some to see if I could get her to eat it. And so far I think it was just she was new. And that's why she didn't want to eat. But uh, So if she likes these, eventually when I run out of food, I'm going to go back and buy these same brands so basically it was better than buying and returning buying and returning okay that's all